everyone welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna be doing a morning routine for this video um i'm gonna get together my breakfast to drink i have in the morning show you how i plan out my weeks and stuff like that so today it's actually sunday so what i do on days like today is i plan out my week so i got this calendar from indigo it's like a whiteboard so I just write everything I have, like when my training sessions are, when I have hockey or soccer practice or games, any appointment that I have, whether it's with my doctor, um, like hair or nails, anything like that. I just write my whole week down so that I leave it on my desk all week so that I'm always knowing and aware of what's going on. So I'm going to start right now by writing my week out and then I will show you guys. Okay, so I just finished writing everything in my calendar. Usually I would have like my assignments and tests and stuff like that due, but since I haven't actually been to school in three weeks, so basically it was March break, spring break, and then I had the week of offset, and then at offset is when I got injured, so I just had the whole week off again. So I've actually been away from school for three weeks. So obviously I'm unaware of um, my assignments and stuff due, so I don't have any of that actually written down in my calendar. But this is um, what I put in. So training session, doctor's appointment. If I get clear from here, then I can return to school on Tuesday. And then my training session is just to see how I feel um, with exercise. And then again, training session. And then I have hockey practice. I do obviously have a hockey practice here too, but I can't go to that, of course. And then training session, training session. I do have to make up for what I've missed. And then spin co on Saturday. And then I do have a 5K race on um, Sunday. I've not actually trained for that because I've just been sitting around the house um, having to rest up. But I'm doing that with my aunt, my cousin, and my mom. And the four of us do have a really fun time together, so I am actually excited. We're probably just going to run it for fun. I won't be obviously in my best shape for that. I'm actually nervous to see what it's going to feel like at the gym because this is my first time in over a year taking this long of a break. Like even when we go on vacation and stuff like that, I'm always finding a gym to be in. So because of just doing absolutely nothing, it, de it does definitely feel really weird. Anyways, I'm going to go downstairs now and start making my breakfast and drink. So I will bring you guys with me there. Aren't these the prettiest flowers? They were given to me as a get well soon present and they're super cute. Okay, so I am gonna make the drink now. I'll get the powder. This is the powder, um, it is so good. You can get it at any um, like organic grocery store, like Whole Foods or Ambrosia or stuff like that. And basically the instruction is that you just take one quarter of a tablespoon and scoop it into water and just literally mix it and it's so easy and it tastes really good um at starbucks they sell this drink but it's with lemonade so instead what i made is i put some actual lemon juice with water and just stir it together and it does taste like lemonade and it's obviously a lot healthier because the sugar in lemonade is super bad so i just grabbed like actual pressed lemon juice and i put that in instead and it does the trick so i'll show you guys how i make that So I just fill it up to around there and this will definitely make it very sour like I like it to be really sour so just from putting that much in it's definitely gonna make it super sour okay so the scoops already in here it's a bit dirty but so one quarter of a tablespoon I just put that in like so and then I'm gonna add the water and stir it around and I will show you guys what it looks like I put a ton of water in <laughs> I was distracted holding my camera so I kind of just let the water 
keep going, but uh <laughs> What matcha powder is is it's like a, a detox for your whole body. So it's so good for you basically it um speeds up your metabolism it helps with digestion it's also just super good for your gut it makes you feel refreshed like i don't even know like it doesn't even say that when you read up about it but that's just from personal experience it just makes me feel so refreshed and awake like that's why i like starting my morning off with drinking this first of all it's super easy and quick to make and second of all it just makes me feel good so here we go cheers mm, it's so good it literally just tastes like lemonade. Mm. Okay, so now I'm going to start making my acai bowl. Um, it was really, really hard to find acai. Um, we finally ended up finding it at Whole Foods, but it didn't have it at Loblaws, Metro, No Frills, any grocery stores like that. So you definitely do need, I'm, I'm sure like Pusateri's would have it or in the States like Trader Joe's. Okay, actually, so before I do that, my mom just came home with my stepdad and they got some groceries. So I'm just going to show you this lettuce, a lot of bananas. I'm not sure why. Apparently, they thought we didn't have a lot. So we got <laughs> two things of these. And then we got this roasted tomato and red pepper soup. This is all from Summerhill Market, by the way, which is place to go shopping turkey avocado wrap this salad dressing olive oil and vinegar and the final thing is the feta cheese and tomato salad so it's sort of like a caprese if any of you guys have ever tried that it's just like tomato a vinaigrette and um a buffalo cheese and it tastes so good at every restaurant that is the first thing i look for on a menu for a starter anyway so now i'm gonna get started with making the side bowl just gonna put this stuff away so we already actually had this many bananas but <laughs> we got a lot of bananas and then the salad and stuff like that we'll go in our fridge this is what the fridge looks like we got some hard boiled eggs, a lot of all natural peanut butter, strawberry steak. Ta da! Asai. Check. This is the packaging. If you guys are going to get it, it's literally just plain asai and you pour it into the blender. And then I didn't actually unpeel this, I forgot. So if I can ever get this unpeeled, then I will do it with a frozen banana. That will add a nice creamy texture that I definitely would prefer. But if not, I will just make it with one of these bananas. Now the other one. Not gonna lie, I definitely dead to myself. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do that. But I did, and here is the not-so-appetizing frozen banana. Okay, completely side note, if anyone is looking to buy a new blender, get this 100%. It is so good. Usually, in my other blender that I had before this, I needed to add more liquid in order to get stuff to blend. But with this one, literally, I'll show you guys. It can be as thick as you want, and it'll still like manage to blend it. So this is honestly the best blender I've ever had. Okay, so the, it comes in a packet like this, and it's just completely all frozen. So it says to warm it under, or to rinse it under warm water, just to get it loosened up. And then you just empty the whole thing into the blender. Ta-da! So, put this whole thing in. Throw that out. And then the frozen banana. So this is one whole frozen banana and one whole pack of berries. So now, there we go. Okay, so, and watch the magic. Okay, so this is the final blend. That's exactly the texture you want for the base. It's supposed to be thick almost like an ice cream and so now I'm just gonna pour this into the bowl and then start with my toppings okay so I poured it all in and now I'm gonna start with the toppings unsweetened coconut 
granola, chia seeds, hemp heart, berries. So these are the toppings and I'm just gonna add them all and then bon appetit with my drink. I'm gonna try and put it in some aesthetically pleasing way, but usually I just kinda put it everywhere. Wow, update, this is looking really good. Okay, now berries. So raspberries first, and then blueberries. And then we're gonna do some chia seeds and granola, and that will be it. This is looking pretty darn good. Um, if you guys don't have chia seeds already, you should definitely just start getting them and including them in your daily routine. They're pretty much tasteless, and they're just super good for you. They're really high in fiber, which we all know is a necessity in your everyday diet. Okay, so I'm almost at the end of this granola. It's the best granola ever. I know, it's like really almost gone. I'm just gonna sprinkle this all over. And I'm also finishing off the bag. Uh, so here, I'll use my fork to show you guys. So this is the coconut, the um, hemp hearts, raspberries, blueberries, granola, and chia seeds over here. So this is breakfast and with it, I will be drinking the drink that I made earlier. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, this is breakfast. It's 11 11. This is the first thing I'm having today. It is just straight up amazing. Every bite is just so gum. Mm mm mm. It is so important to just get on with your day. I'm actually going to make a video soon about waking up early and how it's impacted my life for the better. And I would just say, you realize that within those extra 30 minutes of sleep, nothing is really going to change. It's not going to impact how much like uh, energy you have during the day, but it can make such a big difference in your morning. So for example, if I were to wake up at 30 minutes later, and not be able to do any of this just because I wanted that 30 minutes of sleep, it doesn't really make sense. So I would rather personally wake up that much earlier, have a healthy, good breakfast, and feel good and not rushed and organized for my day. I literally planned out my week already. I'm already feeling good, and I'm just excited now to eat this amazing breakfast rather than having like a banana on the road. So if I could give you like one tip and one thing to take away from like what I do in my morning routine is wake up earlier honestly there's no point of sleeping the extra 30 minutes when you could get on with your day and start fresh and have an amazing healthy breakfast as they say as i'm sure you guys know breakfast is the most important meal of the day so you have to accommodate that and make sure you have a healthy breakfast to get your brain going it's important to eat something good in the morning mm-mm-mm this is honestly so good. Oh my gosh, I love this. Mm -mm -mm. It also is super filling. So, um, if I don't have a breakfast like this, I'll be sitting there in class, like super distracted from learning. My tummy's hurting me. I'm just thinking about lunch. But. When I have a filling breakfast, it satisfies me like this. There's so many different flavors and tastes. There's a bunch of seeds giving me different proteins and fibers, the carb from the granola, everything. There's just so many things into one breakfast that is definitely just going to satisfy me until lunch. And then that's why I can have a salad for lunch. My friends are always like, oh my God, like that salad looks so good, whatever. It's because I give myself enough time in the morning to make a salad that I know I'm going to be happy with later. So I'm... Um, that's about it for the morning routine. I also will drink two glasses of water before going back upstairs. So that's like my thing in the morning whenever I leave the kitchen, the first thing I have to do is chug two glasses of water just to like get a fresh start on the day, like get the metabolism going. 
whatever so i'm just gonna sit here finish my drink finish this and then i'm gonna go upstairs get dressed and get ready with the day so yeah mm -mm -mm. this is legit 10 out of 10. there isn't anything that i would take away add change anything mm -mm. it is just that good so i hope you guys like my morning routine usually there would be a workout in it obviously but I am still off from my injury, so I'm just kind of chilling. So I thought this would be a good time to do a more like laid back, more morning routine. Usually I'd be in more of a rush to go to the gym. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one, of course. And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you want to, me to do anything specific. Or if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. See you guys in my next one.